Welcome back my rogues. Today's question is what is the wisest thing somebody has ever told you? Hope you enjoy, and check me out on Instagram. Lack of preparation on your part doesn't call for an emergency on mine. If you can laugh at yourself, you'll always have something to laugh about. Don't remember who told me that. Don't know if they were quoting someone, but it's stuck. A wise man once told me the level of someone's mental breakdown can be measured by the number of inspirational quotes they post. When I was really young, my father told me this gem. When I was upset about being teased at school no matter how nice and kind you are, there are always going to be people who don't like you or appreciate what you do. I forget if there was anything else he added afterward, it does sound pessimistic. However I internalized it as, to continuing being kind, and not letting a harsh response or cruel treatment bring me down. I think my dad was trying to, teach me not to put too much worth into how much worth others put on me, but focus on my own self-worth. Ultimately, in my own perspective, it did help me keep a positive attitude on life. Update OMG I was not expecting so many replies. He'll try to catch up and upvote everybody. Thank you for your input in the karma. The best way to make money in Vegas is to sell the light bulbs. Even the world's best ping pong player can't beat a wall, just walk away. Don't confuse hard work with good work, or, said another way, don't confuse working hard with working smart. A smart man learns from his own mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Luck is where preparation meets up opportunity. Fuck what others think is manly. I think it's unmanly to let others tell you what's manly. Doing happy things is manly enough a former classmate I really should have talked to a lot more. So I worked at Darby's back in the day, and we changed company policy to wear twice a day. During business, we had to disassemble the slicer completely, clean the whole thing, and put it back together. We were having a manager meeting about implementation of the new policy and what that would look like. I was pointing out every way it wouldn't work. That store was just always busy. You couldn't have people waiting 10 minutes for a roast beef sandwich then. One of the other managers said, Before we say it's impossible, let's give it a shot. That fucking knocked me on my butt. Up to that point, I was very quick to rule things out over notions that I didn't know. I just felt, and that's not to say I'm a yes man now, because even my manager's statement wasnt saying, We're doing it, it was just give it a shot and I really think this has revolutionized my adult life. It started with little things. I did go see a movie I never heard of. I did tell a waiter to surprise me when placing my order because when you have a preference, you're essentially ruling out all other options. And then fast forward 0.11 years, and I have my own company now. It's unorthodox. My competitors hate it. And if you told me I had to attribute the course of my adult life to one thing someone told me once, I think that's it. Never ask the barber if you need a haircut. It's never your successful friends posting the motivational quotes on social media. Never miss a good opportunity to shut the hell up, my dad. The harder you work, the luckier you get, grandma. A guy in an office told me this once whenever I'm about to do something. I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing. If you ever think of eating a bullet, just remember if you have the balls to pull the trigger you have the balls to fix shit. Tell the world to fuck off and don't let it break you. Everything in moderation, including moderation. People are bastards, they're chocolate coated bastards with a bastard filling. Learn to like your coffee black, it'll make your life a lot easier. Only people with big insecurities seriously make fun of people. Approach every day like you are the hero of the story. Be the person you've always wished to be. Every day is a new opportunity to become that person. Don't waste another day. People aren't against you, they're for themselves. I'm a programmer and my boss once told me this. I'm a lazy programmer and I will only hire lazy programmers. Why? Because if you're lazy you'll spend the time to code it right the first time so you don't have to keep going back to it to fix it. And it's true. I've been a lazy programmer since. When I was very young, a friend once told me you don't have time, you take time. I had to get well above 25 to understand the meaning of this. Don't ever buy anything new. It's untested, untried, and you'll pay twice as much. Wait, purchase used, learn what lasts, learn what you like and what you just thought you'd like. Don't become a consumer, become an investor. G. Sergeant Coburn, 2001, to LCPL Lunatic Pity. 
You don't need to quit if you don't get addicted in the first place. It seems a little dumb but it really has changed me. My father told me that. He quit heavy smoking and drinking to be with my mum, cold turkey, and he maintained it the rest of his life. However, he always said if he slipped once, then he would never stop, in prone to getting addicted somewhat to even minor things. So I fully avoid anything chemically or physically addictive, when possible. As a note, I know some people are at severe disadvantages regarding some addictions born with one forced into, etc. and are excluded. The owners would rise up the chain to whomever first decided to start it. If you think about it, do you truly know anyone? Jim Carrey. Remember son, dying is gay. Do not fear failure, fear the ability of not trying. In this world, Aylwood, you must be oh so smart, or oh so pleasant. Well for years I was smart. I recommend pleasant, and you may quote me. No response is a response. Seems so obvious now but was life changing when I heard that and the light bulb went off. Hang loose but don't fall apart. My father's last words to me before he died remember kid be nice to some people he never took shit from anybody and was never fake. He only gave what people deserved. I love you and miss you dad. You're not as high as you think you are when you're up. And you're not as low as you think you are when you're down. Your biggest strength is also your biggest weakness. It doesn't make sense at first, but the more you think about it, the more profoundly accurate it gets. Stop looking around for the right person and try to be the right person. Good advice, but sometimes hard to achieve. If anyone asks you, are you mad at me? For no reason, ask them if they think you should be mad at them. They've usually done something but just too ashamed to admit it. Honestly, no one has told me that. I made it up myself but I think it's really helpful lol so. You're welcome. Don't expect anyone else to enforce your personal boundaries. Learning this has saved me a ton of disappointment. My old psychologist for some people, there's a chemical problem going on. And it causes depression, but for most, it's simply a poor reaction to stressor. You have some really bad reactions to stressor. Reframing how we think about challenges can be super helpful fighting depression. Former boss and now close friend of mine had a saying I am 100 responsible for the outcome of this conversation. I first overheard her mumbling it to herself as she was rehearsing some pitch she was about to make to ask her boss for something. I asked her about it, and what she meant by it was simple no matter how this conversation turns out. I have to take full responsibility for it. If it goes poorly, I don't get to blame the other person and say they were just unreasonable, or I'll never figure out how to get what I need, even going into a conversation. If it's not with a total stranger, then I should know what they want or need to hear to understand my side. If I do that and they disagree, then either I didnt frame my case sufficiently or correctly, or I don't truly understand my own position. And if I'm dealing with a total stranger, I need to understand how to present in that context. I've carried that lesson through my entire career. And while I'm not some high-powered CEO wouldn't want that anyway. The hours suck, I've enjoyed some modest success, and I attribute a great deal of it, almost all of it, to my ability to negotiate and present my arguments in a way that tends to bring leadership around. To my way of thinking, that came at the price of hours and sometimes days of introspection, contemplation, consideration, and working to understand others' motivation in order to get what I need. Own your shit. Don't blame your mistakes or failures on others. At the same time, take pride in your accomplishments. Note there is a dark side to this. You can take it too far, and take too much responsibility, when you're taking the weight of others' mistakes as your own, or crediting someone else over much for your own success. You're doing neither of you a favor, own your shit, but set the expectation that others own theirs as well. If you loan someone 20 and they never see you again, you've come out ahead. Don't do meth, there are plenty of good drugs out there, meth I have sent you one of them. If you're questioning whether you should send the email, don't send the email. Opportunity knocks but it doesn't beg. So true, when you see it, take it or it'll be gone. Empathy does not mean you join someone's pity party. You are in control of your thoughts and emotions. Perception is everything. Hope you like this video. Stay frosty my rebels.